Hey, this is Latif Mikado, and you're listening to the Good Night Freestyle Podcast, where I take some time each night to try and reflect on the freestyle scene, where it is, where it's going, and try to figure out how to sustain it, not just for future generations to enjoy, but also to benefit. So sit back, relax, and let's talk some freestyle. Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Latif, and welcome to the Good Night Freestyle Podcast. And this is episode 96. Uh, hoping you guys are all doing well. I'm actually outside. It's another nice, crisp, cool, beautiful night. Um, got Santana also outside. She's uh, riding her skates on the driveway while I speak to you guys. Um, I don't know if you guys uh, follow her TikTok, but uh, we didn't know yesterday she was on her skates and she fell, hit a knee. <laughs> we didn't know. We actually got, when she got inside, we cleaned up, made her take a bath and so on, cleaned up. She was good. But we didn't realize that she did a TikTok um, showing her her cut, you know, her, her scraped knees were pretty bloody. We had no idea. We were like, <laughs> why did... And what was so funny is that it seems like it was like one of the, her best... Post. She got like the, the most comments and probably the most likes mm -hmm. so far. Um, <clears throat> so um, she um, <clears throat> so she will end up doing this TikTok. We're like, you can't do a TikTok on that. People are gonna be like, you know, where's your grandparents? Where's your parents? You know. So it was kind of funny, man. But uh, <clears throat> anyway, yeah. Speaking of the TikToks, uh, yeah, today I or. Well, I kept pushing the one I did yesterday of the preacher. Today I did the new one that I, where I stopped the raindrops. I thought it was kind of cool. Um, that was pretty cool. I actually took that outside. I wanted to get a really, really dark background. So I brought my light out to the backyard. and So that was done outside and thought it was kind of cool. Um, I wanted the coloring to be right. So if you notice, I got like a purple shirt, which I knew I was going to darken up a little bit. So it's going to have a nice little... Uh, feel to it. It was kind of cool. And I picked the music that went with it. Just something a little different. Um, trying to switch it up. Um, other than that, uh, oh, for, first of all, a big shout out to my boy Tommy Fields. Tommy um, has been my boy for quite a few years. He's a huge, huge, I, I mean, I say fan in, in, a, in, a, in a good way, um, but he's really a friend and he's a huge, huge supporter not just of me but a lot of the freestyle community so a lot of love and appreciation go out to him uh tommy was also the first one the absolute first one to put his order in for the three book series of yes yes y'all unfortunately the book was supposed to be released march 27th and because of the whole coronavirus you guys you guys see what happened with that so the plants are now closed down um so i'm hoping by the end of april um, I'm not taking any more orders. Uh, I had a special going on for a few months, uh, but I'm not, uh, I'm not running that special anymore. Uh, now just, uh, waiting for them to, uh, get the books to press, you know? So anyway, either way, uh, hopefully we'll have a, a nice read for the summer. So the books will be out and about, you know? So a little bit of a noisy night. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Freaking dog barking across the street. Um, I came out a little earlier than normal, so it's like the world is just a little noisy than normal. Uh, other than that, everything was uh, was uh, uh, everything was cool today. You know, same same routine. Weekends and weekdays are pretty much the same. I might sit down, watch a little bit more TV. I try to watch a couple of shows, and um, we just finished up that Ozark. Eh. So I, I like the first, this is the deal with these shows. I, I'm not a big TV person, okay? I, what I do, I wake up early, <clears throat> I work all day. In the evening, okay, after I do the podcast, you guys are the last people I talk to for the night as far as to the community. I don't answer phones or nothing after I speak to you guys. So you guys are, anything I might have on my mind, uh, I'm going to share with you. <clears throat> uh, after this, you know, I take a shower, try to unwind. Um, I like to watch something, just something to get my mind off of. Usually it was business. Now it's 
of course, obviously other things, but before it was business, you know, and I would I would watch and I would watch anything that's like a series, you know, so that way I'm not stuck sitting there trying to watch a two hour movie at 11 o'clock p.m. or midnight. That's not going to happen. I will not stay up. I, my body just will not function that late. Um, so a lot of times I like to uh, grab a series that I could follow every single day. And those might be 20 minutes to maybe 40 40 minutes or whatever those i can hang i can hang with like i just finished watching the americans i definitely recommend that so if you guys haven't seen it check that one out that's six uh, seasons though so be uh be ready be ready to watch it but it's a dope dope uh, show um i used to watch things like family guy at night uh to really help me unwind sometimes i needed stuff that was just silly uh, wasn't I can't I'm not really big comedy like I don't really watch uh, TV series with comedies you know so I'm not really into any of those um, I like drama that's my thing not into sci-fi either so I'm not really gonna watch I, I don't mind supernatural stuff I don't mind seeing things about you know ghosts and stuff like that but I'm not really one to to um, see things about Martians, like that Stranger Things, it was great. I saw a little piece of it, it was cool, but it wasn't me. I'm also not a horror freak. I'm not really into horror. Horror kind of freaks me up. I tried doing watching Freak Show, cause it looked really good, but honestly, it freaked me out. It freaked me out. I, I it just was, it was a very uncomfortable watch for me. So I never, I never watched it. The one that surprised me, that I got into in the beginning, was The Walking Dead. Now. I hate zombies. I always hated zombies. Um, so they always, uh, so they always, um, <clears throat> they always freaked me out all the way from the living dead, those black and white ones. Um, so I was never into that. And, but everybody was talking about the living dead. I mean, the walking dead. I was like, okay, let me try it out. And I, I, I learned what it was that people were liking about the show and what people like about these TV series. It's not really all about, <laughs> what's happening on the screen but rather the relationships that you end up um making with these characters that eventually get taken away this is what's crazy so you can watch something that might be three seasons and you have a certain character a few characters that you're really really invested in and the next thing you know is that character is killed off and it's like oh my god it's like how am i going to continue this series and that's what was interesting about the walking dead you know <clears throat> because i remember talking to a few people and they had the same idea as me they're, oh, i like zombie movies i was like trust me i'm the same way i can't stand zombie movies but it wasn't the zombie movies it was almost like um you, you, you create these relationships with all these characters and then they have to get from point A to point B without getting uh, bit by one of these zombies. So you end up investing this all this time to get to know them. And you can tell because sometimes you'll have a character who's pretty one-dimensional. They're, there's really nothing in them to make you feel for them. If they're a bad guy, they, all you see, all you watch is them killing. And those people, you don't care. Those people, you can see kill. You can still see be killed without a problem. But once you see a character, even if it's a bad guy, and that character you might find has a, uh, you learn later on a couple episodes in that that character has a relationship with his mother or with his children. And all he's trying to do is survive. However, he's, he's a monster. You still end up invested in him as a character so you're up in the air as far as you know do i want to see this guy die like he's doing some really messed up stuff but you know he also has a family and i can relate to him i can see how much he loves his kids and how he worries about his kids and why he does that and once in a while you might see him do something sympathetic so there might be a situation where he kills a couple and not realizing that the child was in the next room and he's like now he's thinking he didn't know the child was in the next room that happened one of the shows i was watching and what that does is that creates empathy you understand this this character even though he just killed two people there's something about him that made him more three-dimensional you know 
So, um, um, but what I'll do is I'll, I'll get and I'll invest my time um, into a show and, um, and sit. Right now we're watching the Unorthodox. So pretty interesting. But I like those because they don't take, I'm not going to sit there and watch an hour. It's going to be 30 minutes, maybe less. And then I, I can shut, shut down for the night if I want, you know. But anyway, so <laughs> I just want to, uh, to, to, uh, to, just to kind of bring that up a little bit. That's what my day, uh, consists of. Um, uh, shout out to Jose Vasquez. Is it Vasquez or Velasquez? I think it's Vasquez. I'm sorry. I don't have it in front of me <laughs> if I don't, if I didn't remember your name, but, uh, uh, shout out. <clears throat> um, he made a, he uh, commented on one of my TikToks. I appreciate it. I appreciate everyone who's been enjoying them. I love making them. They take some time though. So Jose wanted to know uh, what it takes to create the TikToks. And I think I brought this up the other day. The difference with the TikToks, and I do this purposely now, I have film, I have cameras, I have film cameras, I have software, I have microphones, I have lighting. I mean, I, I could do I could do movies if I want. Um, and I could put things on my computer and edit them and really make them look cool and make you be like, oh, wow, how'd you do that? You know, and do some real cool effects. Um, but the beauty with TikTok and with the, the challenge with that app is, is to do everything in the app. So there is no outside of the app editing going on everything that you see was done on my phone okay and i'll tell you where it's it's crazy is that if you look at you were you were you were commenting on the preacher the one that i did yesterday on the preacher and what you'll notice is the the the, the character goes it changes from the preacher to one of the church goers back to the preacher to the dj back to the preacher well Actually, every time that changes, I actually have to change my outfit. Yeah. So in a normal setting with film, I can actually do all the preacher roles. I think I spoke about this yesterday, but um, I can do all the preacher roles, all the DJ roles, and all the all the other roles. And then I could go and splice them and put them together and put them in the order that I want. And that would be much, much easier. But I don't do that with TikTok. TikTok, I'll do the preacher. I'll do like two seconds, a two second clip, and then I'll take that outfit off. I'll lay it in one spot so I'll make sure that when I come back, that that character is nothing missing there. So if I'm wearing glasses or whatever, that it's just the right glasses, it's the same glasses that I have to keep the continuity going. Uh, and then I would go back and, um, and uh, do the next character. Same thing and then change the outfit and then go back to the preacher. So yeah, it's very, very tedious. So even though you guys are watching, I think the preacher was 31 seconds, okay? It took me about three hours to make, all right? <laughs> all right not only because it's tedious, but also I'm still new to the, to the platform. So I'm still getting my, not only that, a lot of the stuff inside the app, you have to use your fingertips. And I don't have those real small, skinny little fine-tuning fingers so when I hit uh, something to try to let's say move a lever I, I accidentally move two or three levels at the same time and I mess everything up so it's a little uh, it's a little crazy but anyway so that's how that's done uh, and the ideas I get by seeing other people some other people come up with the same ideas um, and that's the challenge also with TikTok so it's not about really coming up with your own unique idea and if you do what you want, you want, you want. Hopefully, other people will try to mimic your idea and just kind of flip it a little bit. So, um, with the with with those TikToks that you see me doing, with those TikToks that you see me doing, uh, you'll notice you'll, there's other ones, other people that have done them similar. However, their characters were different. The track was the same, but they the they create new different characters. They create different settings, like some people. Uh, did their piece like in a bathroom other people do it outside or in a garage or you know uh, um, 
if you look at the one where I play, you know, where I do God, Jesus, and the guy who comes to heaven, I'm, uh, the God character is spinning uh, the globe and spraying it with water, okay? Well, there's a, one that's on TikTok where the guy is just standing there reading, he's in the bathroom, and God is reading a shampoo bottle. So, so you see what I'm saying? So it's just interesting on, and, and I get a kick out of seeing how other people, um, and it's really like a, almost like a directing platform. It's like, here's the scene. If you were the director, how would you direct the scene? You know? So it's really cool. And if you love film and you love messing with cameras, this is a great, great exercise. Uh, you really learn it, but you have to, um, you have to, um, you have to pretty much know what you're doing uh, and have a good idea. So, uh, other than that, um, a lot of writing. Um, so I had to make a trip out tonight. Uh, I mean, earlier today, we went real early to a Walmart to bring somebody to the store for them. They don't have a vehicle. Um, but other than that, we're trying to stay in. They're talking about things are getting real, really intense. They're talking about stuff is airborne. Um, yeah, I still, I'm still a big advocate about everyone staying indoors, you know. Um, just praying that we start seeing something in the news that starts to show some sort of hope or some sort of change and things to, that will just start, you know, life getting back, back to normal. So it's really, really sad situation. So hopefully you guys are all doing well. Uh, other than that, a lot of writing and, um, that's it, man. Uh, not, nothing much. Um, this is episode 96. Uh, this has been a great thing for me. I'm not stopping. <laughs> it's not a hint that I'm stopping. No, I, I think I got it. I got this. Um, and once uh, the world opens back up, um, I, I can't wait to share with you guys. And I think the timing was so good because had I had really great things happening in the beginning, I don't think I would have been able to express them the way I wanted to, or I think I would have been a little reserved in certain areas. Now I feel like I've become a lot more transparent than I am. I'm really not scared of opening up to you guys at all. I'm really not. I'm just at that point in my life where um, I understand me, I understand myself, I understand what I'm about, what I'm trying to do, and that I'm not the only one, and that there's other people in this world, you, for instance, who also, you know, have a, a similar mentality as me, you know, and that we're all living in this world together, but we all have our individual dreams and hopes, and if it's not dreams and hopes for ourselves, it's for loved ones, you know? So um, I think uh, doing the podcast has really helped me to to open up. And I, I feel that as time goes on, um, I'm going to be opening up quite a bit, especially with business. Any of you guys interested in freestyle or in the music business in general, uh, you're going to learn a lot as time goes on because I'm going to be talking to you about situations that I'm encountering. Now, right before the whole virus situation came on, uh, there was issues. We would get artists who would call and uh, promoters trying to negotiate and bad deals and people trying to, you know, trying to get crooked and promoters who try to, you know, try not to pay you. It's not as clear cut and as cool as many would think. There are a lot of issues that go on, even with the freestyle genre. Uh, there's a lot of drama on Facebook. I, I'm sure you guys see it all the time. Um, during the coronavirus situation, I'm not really interested in going there because the genre, the market is already taking a, a, bit, a, a bit of a beating. People right now are getting real touchy. People are... <sighs> just jump into conclusions or are not really taking this right they're not taking this good and and I want the genre to 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 stand I want this genre to pull through and I'm hoping that 
you know, whether it's my podcast or other people's or other things or maybe the TikToks or any, that after the situation that we can all come together and that can, we can help elevate the genre to where it once was or at least start moving in that direction. So right now, while it's down, I don't want to kick it. So um, a lot of the nonsense has still exists, but there are no shows, people. There's no shows going on. So the market's hurting. Now what we got to do is just make sure that when everything comes back, that we didn't lose this market, that all of a sudden it's not, you know, you know, because think about it, that can happen. You know how that would happen if all of a sudden this epidemic lasted so long that everyone found other interests. Think about that. All the artists end up getting jobs or doing something different or just losing the fire. Uh, they have the whole thing called out of sight, out of mind, which is fans who, because they haven't seen any performances for so long, just are not interested now in seeing anybody. A lot of the artists that were getting a certain amount of money can't get that money anymore. See, these are things that can happen and they can really hurt the genre. They can, they can hurt it. They can really, they can send it the way of, the, of disco, you know, very easily. So we have to be careful. And if we love the genre, uh, we have to stick together and you know and listen people are gonna beef that, that's just normal that happens everywhere so we're not here to be kumbaya that's never gonna happen you know but this is a business it is a genre it is for real there are people that love it it does make money it has um supported people it's supported children it's bought homes it's put people through college it is its own ecosystem and that's something that we do not want to ruin the ecosystem of freestyle has to continue. In fact, it has to get stronger. There's a lot of shit going on within the ecosystem of freestyle that has to stop or it's going to, a lot of people are going to suffer. So, but we're going to get into all of that and it's going to get pretty deep and it's going to get pretty tight. And I do suggest anybody who's listening to this podcast, maybe you might want to go back to the beginning and just start listening, start listening you're going to hear a lot of roughness in, the, in probably within the first 10 or 15, maybe 20. And But follow along and grow with me. Grow with me. See, I, I want to document my growth on this and, and, and see, where, see where it takes us. See where it takes us. But I want to tell everybody real, real quick before I go, um, within freestyle, if you have a love for the genre and you're at a particular age where you're not sure what you want to do, and you could possibly see yourself involved somehow in the business. Well, guess what? It's very, 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 very possible. Okay? Um, and I would love to see that. I would love to see that. And I, I'm, I'm really on a mission to open up some doors and introduce people. But it's not that simple. There are a lot of people interested. It's not just about, hey, yeah, yeah, come on in. You could go on the road with little Susie. Or go here with that. Or let me throw you in the studio with them. Um, it takes a lot more than that. But it's possible. So um, go back to the beginning of my podcast. If you haven't listened to them, start trying to catch up. Okay? Try to, before we we hit uh, episode 100, see how many you can do. They're average of 20 minutes each. So time it while you're mowing the lawn, while you're working now, while you're whatever. Put it on your headphones and and listen and start catching up. And that way, because it's important that you guys know me and that you understand me. So that way you understand what it is that I'm trying to do. Because sometimes I can't sit there in one sitting and just spell it out. Sometimes the idea of what I'm trying to do is presented in increments. It, it's presented in bits and pieces throughout all these podcasts. And what you got to do is you got to find them. You have to and basically piece it together. That's just the only way it's going to work. There's no set game plan. Matter of fact, all those little pieces that I'm providing within the podcast, you might be the one to assemble those and put them together. And out of that, you might come up with the idea of how we can fix this and what we can do. So, but anyway, that's it for tonight, guys. I appreciate uh, you tuning in. Thank you so much. Thank you for checking out the TikToks. Please share them if you can. That, that's really cool. I always love the shares. Um, because it helps uh, present them to other people. And it's, there's no money involved. I'm not asking for anything. Um, it's just a little uh, 
It's a little something I want to give back during these crazy ass times. So, okay, guys, listen. God bless, and until tomorrow, good night, freestyle. Before I lay me down to sleep, I pray to hear a freestyle beat. For if I die before I wake, I hope to make it to the break.